We're here at the north window well at the Kenwood building early in the morning here. Just wanted to show you the great progress the crew made yesterday. Got the whole bottom level here all rocked in, all the seams mudded and taped. So that's ready for that wire mesh to go on. We can start parging down there. And then they've got this base layer here rocked in and you can see they've got the ledger up. We're gonna build another platform like we did in the other window well to work off of to start getting this top part furred in and then get that cement board on there, get the seams ready to go. And then we can start the parging. See on this section here, we're gonna have to do like we did in the lower section where there's a window that has been covered over so we're gonna rip all that out it in properly and get a nice smooth finish on that it's coming along great we're here bright and early at the Kenwood at that south window well yesterday the team got it all dried in with the cement backer and all the seams mudded and taped she's ready for the foam backer on those steel beams and then we can throw up the mesh and start parging Kenwood building at that north window well. Today we're going to be framing in a nice platform along here to work off of. You can see last week the team got that ledger board in place there. That's going to give us something to tie into for this platform. That's going to come out onto this ledge kind of like we did on the other side there. And that's going to give us a nice working surface so we can get this all furred in here and get the cement board up. This part needs to be demoed still. There's a window behind there, so we're gonna be ripping that window out and framing it back in. So that's not, will be a nice flush surface going up and gonna cut a nice clean edge across here. So that's all even. And then that's all getting that cement board thrown up and then the parging over top of it. Over here at the Kenwood on the south window well or window alcove, as you can see, we have the concrete board installed. We have the seams taped and mudded. We will have to just have to mud all of the screw holes here. Uh, we have all of the seams caulked with through the roof caulking, which I prefer for any exterior that you're not painting. Through the roof is probably the best product I've used. And after that, we'll have to flash underneath this stucco here. And since there's a lip there, we want to, you know, we want to show some flashing up in there. So when water hits the top here and runs down, that it drips off instead of just running down the entire wall. So after the flashing's in, we'll come in and fill these voids here with two inch foam with a special type of adhesive, which I'll get to and another video. I want to fill all these voids all the way across here, in between here. Then we're gonna run our mesh, our diamond mesh, wire mesh over the top of all this. And then we'll be ready to parch. The reason why we wanna use that foam board as it's just backing for when our mesh goes over the top of it. We have something hard there, we have back behind it. So when we go to mud it, all our mud doesn't fall back in and there's something there to, you know, support it. Excellent. Okay, we're at the Kinwood over here on the north window alcove or window well. Um, you can see here, 
We have concrete board about uh, a third of the way up right here. So today we're still prepping these areas here to be furred out and framed. And then we'll just continue on putting our concrete board up. Then over here, we're gonna demo this wall today. Also tear all this out and then frame that in and run our concrete board all the way up to that line here. And then we'll just do the same process as we do on the south building is just flash wire mesh, seal it, and get ready to barge it.